Hey there, welcome back to Write It Gaming. I'm Wifey Write It. Today we want to go over some of the patch notes in ESO. Update 39 Combat and Abilities. Let us know what you think of the upcoming changes. Let's dive right in, shall we? Dragon Knight Ardent Flame Combustion. Reduced the damage bonus this passive provides to burning and poisoned status effects to 1233%, down from 2550%. Draconic Power, Dragon Blood. Green Dragon Blood, Morph. This morph now also adds a small heal over time, lasting 5 seconds and scaling off your max health, 3% per tick. This morph no longer increases in duration of effects by 1 second for every rank, but rather ranks up the healing done of the healing over time. Necromancer Grave Lord Frozen Colossus reduced the cost of this ultimate and its morphs to 175, down from 225. Increased the damage per hit of all versions by approximately 11%. Pestilent Colossus Morph This morph now also always guarantees the diseased status effect on each hit. Glacial Colossus This morph now also extends the duration of major vulnerability to 17 seconds per hit, up from 12. Bone Tyrant, Bitter Harvest, Dead and Pain, Morph. This morph now also increases the duration of the effects it grants to 4 seconds per corpse consumed, up from 2. Nightblade, Assassination, Deathstroke, Incapacitating Strike, Morph. Fixed a very old and very annoying bug where the special version of this ultimate could fail to be activated in some cases where your ultimate cost was being affected by bonuses or penalties that changed the original 120 ultimate cost requirement for the stun. The tooltip, animations, and ability cast will now always update their cost and activation phases when you meet their augmented cost values. Grim Focus this ability and its morphs no longer need to be activated to generate stacks, as they will now generate stacks any time you meet their original requirements, simply with the ability slotted on either bar. Increased the cost of the special activate to 1890, up from 1350, to make up for the fact that you no longer need to activate the buff portion of these abilities. These abilities will now highlight on your ability bar when you are at full stacks rather than becoming a different icon. Relentless Focus, Morph. This morph now increases the amount of weapon and spell damage each stack grants to 80 at rank 4, rather than increasing the duration of the buff, since the buff no longer has a duration. This morph now costs 1377 rather than 1148. Shadow Shadow Cloak. This ability and the shadowy disguise morph now also grant major savagery and prophecy for slotting on either bar, to help them offer more functionality outside of PvP and to ensure the abilities still offer something when they are being countered. Dark Cloak, Morph. This morph now swaps the major savagery and prophecy to minor protection for slotting on either bar, rather than granting it for 10 seconds after casting the ability. Sorcerer, Daedric. Summoning, Bound Armor. This ability and its morphs now grant their passive bonuses on both bars while slotted, rather than only the bar they are actively slotted on. This ability and the Bound Aegis morph now passively grant their minor protection while slotted, rather than for a duration after casting. Increased the base Max Magicka granted to 8% at rank 4 of the base ability, rather than having each morph rank up to 8% separately. Bound Armaments Morph this ability no longer needs to be activated to be eligible to generate bound weapons, and instead will generate a bound weapon whenever you light or heavy attack with the ability slotted on either bar. The ability activation now requires you to have at least one bound weapon active, and additionally highlights when you have all four bound weapons active for improved clarity. Fully charged heavy attacks now also grant two bound weapons rather than one, Fixed an issue where you could generate bound weapons while using Mend Wounds or its morphs. Weapons, Bow, Long Shots. This passive now increases your damage done by 2-5% against enemies within 15 meters of you and increases your critical chance by 657. 13-14 against enemies that are further than 15 meters from you rather than increasing your damage done with bow attacks by 6-12% based on how far away you are.
renamed this passive to Vinedusk Training to accurately adjust its implications to its new functionality with a flavorful lore twist. Destruction Staff, Ancient Knowledge. Flame Staff. This passive now increases your damage done by the initial hit of status effects by 25500 rather than increasing single target damage done by 5-10%. Lightning Staff. This passive now increases your damage done with over time and channeled attacks by 6 twelfths percent rather than increasing your damage done with area of effect attacks by 5 slash 10 percent. Penetrating Magic. This passive now causes your destruction staff attacks to ignore 1,487-2,974 spell resistance rather than 5 slash 10 percent of the target's spell resistance. Try Focus Flame Staff. This passive now applies a damage over time equal to power of a standard damage over time effect over 10, 20 seconds with a fully charged heavy attack rather than increasing the damage done of your fully charged heavy attacks by 6 twelfths percent ice staff. Increase the damage shield granted by this passive to 16. 5 33rds percent of your max health, up from 12. 5 25ths percent, lightning staff. This passive now only triggers on fully charged heavy attacks rather than any tick of a heavy attack. Dual wield, twin blade, and blunt. Reduce the bonuses on this passive to ensure it is in line with other adjustments being made to weapon passives. Maces will now grant 743 1,487 offensive penetration per mace, down from 825 1,650. Swords will now grant 64 129 weapon and spell damage per sword, down from 71 142. Daggers will now grant 328 657 critical chance rating per dagger, down from 400 612. Restoration Staff, Steadfast Ward, fixed an issue where the damage shield granted from this ability and its morphs could stack with other morphs' damage shields. The rules will follow Obsidian Shield, where the latest applied shield will always remove the previous version. Two-handed heavy weapons. Reduced the bonuses on this passive to ensure it is in line with other adjustments being made to weapon passives. Maces now grant 1,487, 2,974 offensive penetration, down from 1,653,300. Swords now grant 129, 258 weapon and spell damage, down from 142 284. Follow up. This passive now increases your damage done with all two handed attacks by 5 slash 10% for 4 seconds after completing a fully charged heavy attack, rather than increasing the damage of your next direct damage by 10% after completing a fully charged heavy attack. Werewolf, Werewolf Transformation Pack Leader, Morph. The summoned direwolves from this morph will no longer attempt to snare enemies. Ability, Altering Weapons Item, Set. Merciless Charge. This set now increases your damage done with all two-handed attacks for 18 seconds after activating Critical Charge, rather than causing enemies to bleed over 10 seconds when they are damaged by Critical Charge. The bonus damage to your two-handed attacks is increased by 11.16%, of the higher of your weapon or spell damage. We hope you enjoy this video and found the information helpful. Stay tuned for more videos all about ESO. As always, enjoy your adventures in Elder Scrolls Online.